Hello everyone, welcome to today's daily technical analysis lesson from Ichimoku.co. Remember to go to the Ichimoku.co website for previous videos and to view the daily uh, technical analysis uh, video analysis. Today we're going to uh, have an introduction to trend determination and specifically trend determination in the first term time frame. And by the first time frame, I mean on a bar to bar basis. So regardless of whether we have a daily chart, a weekly chart, monthly, one hour, five minutes, what we're doing is comparing each bar or candle against the previous one. So just looking at a definition, and this is what we call short term trend analysis. That's what we call the first term time frame. So what is an uptrend? And an uptrend is a succession of higher highs and higher lows. A downtrend is the opposite. A downtrend is a succession of lower highs and lower lows. Looking here at the diagram and here we see on the left hand side an example of an uptrend then turning into a downtrend. On the right hand side a downtrend turning into an uptrend. So the way that we analyze on a bar to bar basis is so Let's imagine, looking at this left-hand side, that we, did, we want to determine the uh, trend in that second bar. We compare the highs and lows of that second bar to the immediate previous bar. And we compare the high to the previous high, and we say, yes, we have a higher high. We the, compare the low to the previous low. We say we have a higher low, and therefore, by our definition, we have an uptrend in place. We then move on to the next bar. We compare that to the immediate previous bar. That's all we do. It's very, very simple. So we have a higher high compared to the previous and a higher low compared to the previous. We have a higher high and a higher low and therefore, by definition, we have an uptrend in place. Moving to the last bar here, we have a lower high compared to the previous high in the previous bar, a lower low compared to the previous low in the previous bar and we therefore have a downtrend in place by definition. We have a change of trend here. So the trend has actually changed and this is how we identify trend changes. And by definition an uptrend is ended by a bar that has a lower high and a lower low. And a downtrend is ended by a bar that has a higher high and a higher low. So we actually need the opposite configuration of uh, highs and lows to what was previously in place. So here we see our example once again here, a series of higher highs and higher lows uh, leading from the bottom left hand corner up to this point. We compare that bar to the previous bar. We then have a lower high and a lower low in place. Moving down, series of lower highs, lower lows. At this point here in the second bar from the right, comparing that to the previous bar, we have a higher high and a higher low and therefore a change of trend to the upside. So what are the types of bars that can complicate our trend ending model? And the, those types of bars are what are known as inside bars or outside bars, sometimes called inside days and outside days. Um, commonly they're referred to as that. That's quite specific to the time frame that they're being examined in. So let's call them an inside bar and an outside bar. So what is, and I'll actually change that. So what is an inside bar? Well, it's a, it's a bar with a lower high but a higher low. So when we think about it, the, the current bar that we're examining is within the range of the previous bar. Lower high, higher low. What's an outside bar? An outside bar is where we have a higher high and a lower low. So uh, thinking of it in this way, that bar, the range of that bar engulfs the bar of the previous. So thinking again about the inside bar, it's called an inside bar because the range of that bar is within the previous, the range of the previous bar and an outside bar is called that because the range of the current bar we're examining is outside of the range of the previous bar's range. And here we have an example in the top left hand corner of an inside bar or inside day where we have the lower high and lower low and higher low, sorry, when we compare it to the previous bar. That's the only way that we determine them. 
Next, we have an equal higher and higher low. That's also an inside bar. It's a borderline inside bar, but certainly doesn't change the trend. Neither of these bars that we're examining can change the trend because they don't have the opposite configuration. Here on the right hand side on the top, lower high equal low, another borderline inside bar. Uh, down the bottom line on the left hand side, higher high, lower low, the range of this bar engulfs the range of the previous bar an outside day or an outside bar. Equal high, lower low in the middle on the bottom, that's a borderline outside bar and on the right on the lower line, a high high but an equal low, a borderline outside bar as well. Now the important thing here is that neither of these bars can change the uh, trend in that first term time frame because as technical analysts we believe that the trend is in place until we have absolute evidence that it has ended. And the absolute evidence for a trend ending is the opposite configuration of the highs and the lows. Well, let's just take a look at the uh, trend here. Uh, moving to the top here and we see this uh, bar here. Comparing that to the previous, we have a higher high and a higher low and therefore we have an uptrend in place. Moving to the next, we compare it to the immediate previous bar, a lower high and a lower low, therefore a downtrend is in place and a change of trend happened there. Moving to the next, we have a lower high but a higher low and that's an inside bar. And does the trend change? Well, no, it doesn't. The previous trend is in force, unless we have absolute evidence. There's no change of the configuration of the highs and the lows from the uh, ideal model. And therefore, we can't say that we have a change of trend. We have a downtrend still in place. So just freeze this um, uh, video and go through and work out the trend here. And the best way to uh, learn how to determine the trend is to do it for yourself, take your time and work through. And a little bit of elbow grease into uh, determining the trend will really go a long way to um, you becoming quite proficient. And then you'll easily be able to just look at a bar and say, well, that's an uptrend or a downtrend.